Hi there, we have our Aquaprivati providers here and um, we will open the system up just to check the impeller to make sure that there isn't anything that it's um, clogging the impeller and um, stopping the system operating normally as it should. So for the first step we should shut off the water supply from the main stopcock or the, from the closest stop valve before the liquid softener. Once that's done, we can open up a tap, closest tap, to let out excess pressure and then close it to maintain a vacuum in a, in a pipe oil. Um, after that's done, we can um, use a bowl, a um, large bowl, to put it under the system. So in that case, if there any water will escape, we can collect it. Um, to avoid any any spilling or any leaks and we can start after that by removing this clear tubing on top of the system so there is a plastic ring small plastic ring we can turn turn until the plastic ring is loose and we can lift it up so if this plastic ring lifts up, we can safely then pull off the clear tubing. Now we have a white fitting here left and with the pliers we can turn it anti-clockwise to loosen and remove it with, with the fingers. Now we need to remove this or loosen this large nut. Also anti-clockwise. And once the nut is loose safely, we can pull off the first part or the front part of the liquid softener. Uh, just to keep in mind that the uh, system should be unplugged um, if we start to disconnect it. So just to unplug the system or turn it off from, from, the, from the socket switch. Now if this nut is loose, we can carefully pull off the first or the front part of the liquid softener, put it on the side, and we normally would be able to see then the impeller to make and to make sure that everything is um, correct, it's working correctly. We can just try to spin it to see if uh, if it moves freely. If it doesn't, we can slide it out and we can clean the surfaces. Um, we have found PTFE tape, um, joint sealant, different compounds. Uh, in the system which can obstruct the impeller to rotate and can block the block the system so um, in order to fix it we can remove all the obstructing objects and slide back the impeller to make sure that it moves freely once that's done we can fit back the front part part has been fitted back and for the next step you can take this small white fitting and tighten the pliers just to avoid over tightening as it might snap off the fitting but it doesn't take much or need much force 
And now we can first push the clear tubing back on the on top of the white fitting where it, there is a small stem, plastic stem. And to secure the clear tubing, you just slide the ring back on and push it till the end so it secures the, the clear tubing. And uh, after that we can plug in the system, um, open up the stop valve or the main stopcock and to check if the system is now properly working which means if the water is passing through the main body the green light should should uh, flash <laughs>